the morning headlines, and we're putting a little fantasy spin on this today. Uh, yesterday, it was reported that the athlete from the Athletics, Greg Allman, that he wouldn't be surprised if Chris Godwin opens the season on the pup list. That could mean a big time spot for Russell Gage. AJ, with that news being said of Chris Godwin possibly opening up the season on the pup list, how far does Russell Gage move up on your draft board? I mean, I, I, I'd probably grab him eighth, ninth round. Like, I don't, I don't need. It's good to have that guy knowing he's going to get some work. Uh, and he was, he was pretty, he was pretty decent in Atlanta for us. I, I, I'm happy to have him, but I'm not. Knocking down the door to go get him over anybody else. Uh, the fact of the matter is, six weeks, there's still a Mike Evans there. Cameron Braith's going to look to get more work again now that Gronk is out. That's where it really hurts is the fact that if you're losing Godwin for six weeks and now you no longer have Gronk, it's going to be not a, there's not as much talent as you were expecting once upon a time uh, going into Tampa. So Russell Gage is going to be looking to have a great six first weeks. And I mean, I take all the advantages I can as him, but I don't think many other people would be chomping at the bit to get him. So you may be able to grab him a little later than you expect either way. Yeah, his ADP right now has him going in the 10th round, around the 10th, 11th round. Um, Aaron, does that – I know you're a big Russell Gage guy. That was one of your uh, ADP value picks. And obviously, as as we get closer to draft time, these ADPs are going to go up and they're going to go down, and that's just how fantasy football works. Russell Gage is going to be one of those players that's going to see a boost. The more news that comes out, if Chris Godwin is to miss time at the beginning of the season, where would you draft Russell Gage right now, Aaron, his ADP round 10 hearing this news ADP has not been updated for this. So what, where do you, is it still round 10 or is it higher? That's a minus. minus. That's a big time minus. It was still muted from before. Uh, I I love Russell Gage in round 10, like beyond love him. Um, If he's there in round 10, I'm clicking draft every time. Uh, But I actually think he should be going in round seven. And and I'm not joking about this. I think people are are missing something here with Russell Gage in a redraft league and Tom Brady. Mike Evans is going to do what Mike Evans does. Chris Godwin's obviously going to probably miss time at the beginning of the season. Um, it's going to take him some time to get back to where he was. And they don't really have a reason to rush him back, right? We're talking about a team that's very good, probably going to be in the playoff hunt. They don't want to bring him back too early. They have a guy like Russell Gage who's shown to be pretty uh, effective um, over the past couple of seasons with quarterback play that's been less than what Tom Brady's uh, produced. So I really, really like Russell Gage here. We all know what his skill set does that matches Tom Brady. That's work out of the slot, over the middle, short passing game. It's what Tom Brady likes to do. I love Russell Gage. I think he's one of the best steals in this draft. For me, I would look to take him uh, anywhere between this round seven and round ten. Now, again, seven round round seven is a stretch. Like you're yeah. you're pushing the envelope to go to round seven. But if you did it, I'm not looking at you like, oh my god, what kind of pick was that? You're stupid. Um, I actually think it's 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 a good pick. And let's uh, let's remember too, like you mentioned, their ADPs are going to go up, they're going to go down. But like, so you're talking about Chris Godwin being out and Russell Gage being the benefactor of that. As you start mock drafting, you're going to get a feel for this, anyways. You know, he may have that ADP at ten right now, but if it comes out and becomes clear, Chris Godwin's going to miss six weeks. Maybe that's one of the guys you start looking at in your mock drafts to see where people are grabbing him and what his ADP looks like too. So, I mean, if you, if it still turns out that you can get him around the ninth round, I sometimes, if I really want that guy, I automatically go and grab that extra round ahead, knowing that there's other guys I can target after the round I would have gotten him in without all the injuries or updates, uh, so to speak. So that's another uh, way to look at and things to keep in mind as you get into this redraft mock draft season. I like Mike Evans. I like Mike Evans here. And he, here's, I mean, I, 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 I like, hate I like the question wasn't too. about Mike Evans. I know it's I think I, he's I, a I great like receiver. The question was about like, this Russell Gage's I ADP. I don't, makes I, don't, sense. I, don't like, I don't think it makes sense. I don't like, I, I don't like, like Russell Gage. I like Mike Evans. That was my point. And the reason being is I like Mike Evans for three weeks, let him showcase his touchdowns, use him as trade bait, saying, look, no, Brock, he's getting the scores, trade him off. You know, I like winning. I would like to win the lotto and not just off a scratch, five dollars off a scratch off. Like Dylan, that's what I would. What, that's what, what does would that think. have to do with anything that was asked? What Mike I'm Evans is, is a I top like, receiver, I but I don't listen, like Russell Gage. But Mike Evans is a top receiver that, every year. 
so that's so what, what is you're different about this year. No, no, no that, so that's what you're saying here is the fact yes. that you don't like Russell Gage. It's not I about Mike like Evans. You could have, I love you could have left Evans. that off that's the list. That's what here. I said. So, I said I don't but, like Russell Gage. I said that. All right. So, so, uh, so how about this? And tell us, instead Evans, of telling us you like Mike Evans, instead of telling us you like Mike Evans, can you tell me why you don't like Russell Gage? I don't like Russell Gage because he's in a brand new spot right here with Tom Brady. He's got to build chemistry. I think that's going to take a little bit of time. Sure, he's got training camp. Sure, he's got OTAs, whatever he's got to go through. There's still some other weapons on this team that I think could potentially have impacts in that wide receiver room. Zero Grayson. That's what this is what I was waiting for. This is exactly what I was waiting for. So you take Chris Godwin, who's well over 100 targets a year. You take Mm -hmm. Rob Gronkowski, which is a, a number of targets a year, and you get rid of him. Yeah, Tom Brady, they throw the ball a ton. Yep. Tom Brady led the league in passing. Where do those targets go? Cam Brate, O.J. Howard will get some. O.J. Howard ain't playing in Tampa. He's not on the team anymore. Cam Brate, I, I seriously think that they could allocate the passes everywhere. I mean, you see him. You see to him who? It, to, Cam uh, Brate? Freaking Scotty Miller. I mean, there's still guys on the team that can make plays. Tyron Johnson. So, so this, is, this, is, this, is where, this is where you lose me. They didn't pay any of those guys. They paid Russell Gage. You're there. No, they paid Russell Gage. This, this is a classic case of you're looking for something because you don't want it to be Russell Gage. And I'm not saying you have anything personal against him, but it's they too obvious him. to say it's Russell Gage. They paid the man. Why would they not use him? He's going to be on the field, yes or no? It, it, is it fair to say Russell Gage will be on the field? He will He will be on the football is it, field. Is it fair to say that Russell Gage has shown to be better than Scotty Miller – Tyler Johnson, Cyril Grayson. Is that fair to say? It is. Has he played with Tom so they, Brady? No. Okay. So if so, is this just about the chemistry yeah. with Tom Brady not being there yet? And you're yeah, assuming I, that I, it doesn't get to where you think it needs to be? I, I guess that's some of it. But then again, it's it's once Godwin comes back, he's he's worthless. Really? So so I, I, this is this is so asinine. Why? Tampa he's got a number to build chemistry. Then no 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 no. Tampa Bay is not is not able to sustain three wide receivers. Is that what you're saying? Because they did it with well, Antonio Brown, Chris year. Godwin, and Mike Evans. Yeah, they did that last year. So are they capable of doing it? So what is so what does Chris Godwin coming back have to do with that then? I don't think that Russell Gage is one that can do that. So this is more about a talent thing with Russell Gage than yes. anything. Yes, that, that, that's that's where we're getting at. What? Here. So to be fair, to be thing. fair, Russell Gage. Is draft being drafted as what wide receiver 47 48? Yes, Russell wide Gage in Atlanta. 49. In Atlanta, and I'm sorry, AJ, a shit burger of a franchise right now. He finished the last two years better than that with an inferior quarterback play, with not as many weapons on the outside to take looks away from him because he was without a Julio Jones, without a Calvin Ridley. So he was the focal point in the passing game, and he was still able to produce wide receiver for value. Now you're telling me he goes to a better situation, a better team, a better quarterback, a better offense, a better line, better run game, and he's going to be worse. Mm-hmm. I, 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 there was I, any I quarterback it. that I would want to come into that I hadn't played with and would like to gain chemistry with and think it'll be easier, it's probably Tom Brady. Yeah. Not to mention, go look at it. Tom Brady's the one who advocated for Russell Gage to be there. And I'm sorry, there is not a signing that goes on in Tampa Bay that Tom Brady doesn't fight for. So if Tom Brady wanted him, Tom Brady's seen something in him, or they've had some sort of communication off the field. Tell me, is Gage a slot guy? going to play the role that Tom Brady gonna, loves to throw yes. to. I'm going to put a pin in this just because we are going to have an NFC South show where we break down the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. If you want to listen to that, and if you want to watch that happen, just tune in. 